the outside of the barn. And then here I have two other structures. We'll go take a look at those. Uh, the structure that I can give you a brief rundown of is this big tall one here. So I just built this brick building this summer. So before there was nothing there, there was just this hillside. Really, I gotta show you pictures to really put it all into perspective, but there was just the hillside and there was just this one tower at one time. There weren't those wings on the side. And uh, what that was, was yet another building that I tore down and brought over. We'll get a closer look of what it, of what it was and what it is and then what I wanted to turn into. Um, and we'll talk about this, this building but again later. But I'll take these stairs. I've been working on this retaining wall. It's their setup. A labor of love, I must say. Um, right up here, it's another building that's all made out of recycled things. Everything's repurposed. So this part right here, if you can see, it was basically the structure that was incorporated into a bunch of other buildings at this one old store. It was an old lumber yard that I used to go and get all my tools from and stuff. But, and nobody knew that this building existed because it was tied in with other buildings. But I, because I'm nosy, I used to always go in and like snoop around. And I found this really cool place that they use for storage. And what it is, this is a building that's probably, I think the dimensions are um, 14 feet by, 18 feet, no 14 feet by 20 actually. Um, and what this was, was this is a grain silo or a grain crib. So this building was where all the farmers that were all around, they would harvest their grain, they would need a place to store it and then until it gets transported far away. So the farmers would come together, store all their, say for example, wheat up in this big tower of wood. It was basically like a huge long, a huge container. And then the trucks would drive under here and then all of the grain would shoot out from under it, fill up the bed of the truck, and then they'd take off somewhere to go make bread to feed the world. Um, but it got forgotten. Times are changed. Silos are different. There aren't very many farmers around. It's all different. So um, this is a part of history, but it was repurposed then when I found it into, since they weren't gonna use it as a grain crib or to store grain. They used it to store stuff. And at that time it was all like 1970s linoleum pieces of junk. So um, I'll show you this. So built some stairs to go up there. I turned this, this tower into a three-story place. Um, turn on the lights. There, this is better. Um, the walls of here, this is, this is the outside walls of what this was. We can go inside in here. So I don't know if the camera can see this, but the so walls- These are all two by sixes laid flat on end. So the walls are really thick. There's a tremendous amount of wood in this building, but you'll never be able to afford or get a building built like this. This tough, this strong, this much wood but they needed this much wood built like this because again, this place originally was for storing grain. So all of where I'm at and where the cameraman is and everything and 20 feet up in the air still was all grain. That's a tremendous amount of weight. It's like, uh, like imagine just a five gallon bucket, how heavy water is and you gotta have a strong bucket to hold all that water. Imagine all that weight of wheat in here. So you have to have really, really strong walls to hold the weight of that. But uh, when I knew about this building and then that place has now been leveled and turned into a giant parking lot, um, I knew that that was gonna be the destiny of everything that we're looking at. So I talked to all the lawyers, I talked to everybody I could to say, hey, I'm licensed, bonded, insured, I'm a contractor, I can get this thing off of your property. No charge to you. Um, no one would listen to me, nobody wanted to fuss with it, but I would just happen to be driving by one day and I saw this huge excavator with its claws right on it. It's gonna take it all down and turn this into something to fill a landfill with. And I uh, went to the guy and said, no, 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 I promise you, let me take it 
I'll take it down, I'll put it up, you won't even notice, just give me a couple days. And uh, the guy said, oh, no, no, no. you know, this is rough guys, and there's probably like $300 worth of scrap metal in this place, so I had to give him $300. And in 10 days, I took the whole place down and put it back up like this right here as a tower. So now I've turned it into this three-story work studio. This is gonna be a, a place that I can teach classes, um, like things like stained glass. It's basically gonna be a craft school, an art school, artisan skills school. I can teach basketry up here. Uh, the list goes on and on, drawing, painting. Up there, upstairs, um, before we go upstairs, I'll just show you. So yeah, I cut, cut out windows in here so I can see the property. And there you can see, nice view. Got my green roof, that's on that building. We'll talk about that. And my garden's over there. It's a, it's a work in progress, but this is gonna be a nice little creative space. All of the lights upstairs and downstairs are all old farm lights that I've been saving actually ever since I was in. Uh, <laughs> we'll go downstairs and maybe have a better look at them. But they're, they're old lights, turn of the century, really common, but I've been saving different shades of these. Even since high school, I have one that's downstairs that is, uh, I used it as a fire pan. So I go camping and try to be, you know, low impact and escondido. And so I would carry one of these lamps. I didn't know how expensive they were at the time. I turn them upside down and put my fire inside of them. And then, you know, it's a safe way to make a fire so I don't make, make a forest fire. But I actually salvaged that and I'm still using one of these downstairs. Um, these are old doors. This is a door, very early door, probably 1850s maybe. Oh my God, look at how, once I put a door handle in there, look at how low the door handle is. But that's just the style that they made doors back then, whether it was 150 years ago, people were shorter, or whatever, whatever. Cool old door, and it has, uh, some people say character, I say sex appeal. Well, hopefully. So this is upstairs. Um, I can turn on the lights here too. Um, that is where my bike helmet is. Who's <laughs> looking for that? The, uh, when I get this all done, this is going to be my jewelry studio. I used to teach goldsmithing and silversmithing and jewelry for over 10 years as, as a vocation. So I want to turn this into my jewelry making studio and I can teach classes again here. Um, again, you can see that beautiful wood, wood walls and I have a little bit more light in here and then it shows the ceiling. Um, I'm going to have a loft up there so when kids come over, they can have really cool sleepovers, you know, because they got this like cool little tree house that's way up in the air. By this time, since we're a hole so high, you can see up here, we're high, we're, we're up there. Um, the, uh, believe me, when I was, so this whole thing is insulated, so it did have this on the outside as, as what it looked like. I didn't want to ruin that, but I knew that there'd be too much air and I wanted to insulate it. So I've insulated the outside and then, uh, for siding, I used old, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll, we'll see it when I get out there, but the ceiling is all insulated. Everything's nice and tight and nice and warm in the winter. And believe me, being this high up in the air, <laughs> it was scary. It was very scary. Um, Cause you're, yeah, you're 40 feet up in the air. You don't want to fall. But this is the upstairs the creative space. We'll look more about downstairs where I want to run classes. Hopefully, you, even though it's a mess, you can see through it and get a little bit of my, of my vision, okay? So I'm gonna have a bathroom and a small ceramics pottery studio in here, because ceramics was a big part of my life as well. But that's, you'll just have to look at it in your imagination, but nice big windows and all that stuff. Um, over here is gonna be a place there's not going to be all this wood. I have this wood drying because I have a mill over there and then this is all wood that I've cut down from trees 
in town and stuff that were destined to be cut down anyway. So turning it into wood to make the fine furniture, I've got black locusts, black walnut, sycamore, of course on oak, the good stuff. Um, and I can drive in here if I have some really big projects that won't fit through a normal door. But as I was saying, those lights, all of these lights that I've done, I've restored, and they're from, yeah, anywhere from the 1880s to about the 1940s. And, but then I put LED lights on them so they're nice and efficient. And it all runs off of my solar, which I have on that room. But to get back to the beginning, at one time it was just this weird tower, three stories up, which is where we just went to. And then I needed a place, just an, an awning to put my tractor and keep some things dry, like drying wood. And it was just timber frame, so it didn't have any walls. Um, then I found this great company that was gonna hook me up with solar. And that is, I was in a place where I was like, yes, I definitely wanna do solar. Um, we can get some shots of what's on top of this roof, but since I was offered this solar, I was gonna, I'm gonna build another awning. There's basically like a shed roof that's over there that you were just in. So then I built another one, a shed roof, and that was the surface area where I could apply solar panels to on top of this roof. And again, it didn't have any walls, it just had, had uh, like timber frame, open walls with these big beams, wind was coming through. But it looked kind of strange, but cool, because it had this tower, and then it had these two wings coming off. But then, this summer, this guy tore down a mansion that was just built pretty recently, like in the mid-1990s, and they had all top-of-the-line top insulated windows. And I saw him in his shop. He had them just all piled up. I said, dude, what are you doing with all those windows? And he said, I'll give you all those windows for 350 bucks, which was, I, I went <laughs> the next day with my trailer and loaded up all the windows, all the windows in this whole entire place with the sliders and everything, 350 bucks. So then with all these windows, I had to immediately figure out a way to use them. So I framed it in, walled it up, and now this place is this glorious art studio classroom greenhouse. We'll go outside. We'll go out here. <clears throat> and see if you can make your way through here. Be careful, it is uh, yet another project. I'm making a plant nursery with a big awning and a waterproof storage place right there. But you see the siding, that siding is all recycled. That came off of an old barn, uh, the, uh, the old roof of a barn and it just like patinaed beautifully. It's just great. You see the light right there, that's all recycled stuff. All of the roof rafters I tore out of a, they were floor joists out of an old camp. It was their, it was their, uh, it was like their big dance hall and they were gonna tear it down. I needed the wood to make a floor out of all that vertical grain fur. Took all that down, but then left over were all the floor joists for that. Took all the floor joists and then applied them to all the roofing for all those two shed roofs. And so uh, it's pretty sweet. And as my grandma says, you could imagine, I couldn't afford this by myself. It's all about like being resourceful and getting things on the cheap. And my grandma says, Poor people have poor ways, but in a lot of ways, that could be a good thing. So that's that building. Okay, Magic Lamp here. I just want to show you the solar. This is eventually going to be an apple orchard. Well, whole fruit orchard, because I, I <clears throat> sorry. I got peaches, Asian pear, apricots, plums, cherries. Yeah, the whole place is going to be everything that I can have to live off the land gonna be great so a little tree nursery for right now but right there you can see that whole roof is all solar and that powers everything that I need for all my power tools welding equipment all that sort of stuff and then that uh, it powers my home barn 
my garage studio. If I need to make extra power, um, I can do generator, but I haven't really needed that yet, which is great. Uh, yeah, my own kind of pretty. If you like what you've just seen, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.